The thermal environment substantially impacts a building's energy footprint since many countries heating and cooling account for approximately half of a building's energy consumption. The indoor thermal environment is ranked as one of the strongest contributing factors to overall human satisfaction in the built environment. The thermal environment not only impacts comfort and productivity, but due to its linkages to integumentary, endocrine, and respiratory body systems, thermal comfort can also cause a variety of detrimental health outcomes. Overly warm indoor spaces are linked to increase in sick building syndrome symptoms, irregular heart rates, respiratory issues, fatigue, and negative mood. Whereas cold work environments have been linked to an increased effort and work towards maintaining proper posture, increased risk for chronic health issues related to muscular skeletal health. However, despite having established standards, studies have also shown that only 11% of office buildings surveyed in the U.S. provide thermal environments that meet generally acceptable goals of human satisfaction. Similarly, as many as 41% of office workers have expressed dissatisfaction with thermal environments. Building users who are satisfied with their thermal environment have been shown to be more productive in the workplace, while thermal discomfort is associated with sick building syndrome and other conditions that lead to a decrease in productivity. For instance, employees perform an average of 15% poorer in hot conditions and an average of 14% poorer in cold conditions. An average 2% decrease in work performance per 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit of air temperature rise has been found. Furthermore, thermal comfort preferences are highly individual and can be affected by metabolism, body type, clothing, and other personal factors. These personalized factors make it nearly impossible to find a temperature that will satisfy all individuals in the same space at the same time. Indoor air temperature can be influenced by a number of factors, including the building's physical orientation, location, structure, occupant density, ventilation strategies, mode of operation. In the majority of buildings, the HVAC system is responsible for controlling the indoor air temperature and humidity. Where temperature zoning is an option, individual accessible thermostats that enable people to set their own temperature conditions independently of other zones should be used.